Hey friends, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. I thought I would share with y'all, like, you know, I'm always looking for a bargain and I'm always looking for good deals on stuff. So <laughs> I've been a busy girl, um, but I'm just going to share. I don't know if y'all have ever used these gel pens. I got these at the Dollar Tree yesterday. These were $1.25 for 10 gel pens. And I actually, when I was in session yesterday, a student was like coloring in one of those, um, what are they called? The man mandolin coloring books. Hey, Stormy. Um, and then I also picked up a Bic Gelocity for $1.25, which was a good time. Um, I had mentioned if you caught my 2025 lineup planner journal lineup video, I had mentioned that I bought an insert, uh, to use as my travel journal. So I bought the insert number 13. Um, and it's, uh, sorry, it's 128 pages blank and it's the lightweight paper. I'm not sure what kind of paper is in here. I don't know that it specifies, <clears throat> but I ordered this off of Amazon for, it was like $7. Um, it's very like, ooh, I like the paper, very lightweight, but I'm going to use this as my actual like travel journal where I like paste in like pictures and ephemera and just detailed trips that we go on. I'm doing this for fun. So I was kind of happy to get that. I'm going to like save this sticker as ephemera, but yeah, <laughs> it's a good time y'all. I'm just spending money knowing Christmas is right around the corner, but <laughs> a deal's a deal. And then I got an email, was it like a week or two ago, from Print Pression, that the Hobonichi Weeks covers were on sale for 10 bucks, And I was like, say what now? $10? So I got the honey. I think this is sold out now. Um, but I thought it was really good. Like, with this. So this is going to be my health and wellness planner. So, yeah. I was like, this is cute. It's got strings, so I guess if you wanted it to be a traveler's, I think it'd be too, yeah, it's too tall to be like a regular traveler's. Maybe. It might, like, no. I think it would fit. Yeah, look at that. It fits. There's a little bit of overhang, but it's not terrible. But it does have strings if you did want to put in, like, a traveler's notebook or if you have, like, a one of those sterling ink and what are they called? The N2s that are around about week size or any other week size book. You could put it on strings if you wanted to. Um, so, I just thought that was cute. I paid 10 bucks for that. Yeah. And then, I hit up TJ Maxx and Home Goods today because my daughter had a dermatologist appointment. And she, you know, I was waiting on her prescriptions to get filled. This is not planner or stationary, re stationary related. But I've bought this brand off of Amazon. My current wallet is actually this brand. But I wanted something just a little bit bigger. My current wallet. Hold on. Let me get grab it. This is my current wallet. So it's, yeah, about half the size of this wallet. But it's a nice, it's a nice wallet. Um, you know, it's got a place for cash. And then it's got this little thing you can slide in and out. I'm not going to pull it out because it's got my license in it. And then it's got like the little change pouch on the side. Uh, but I wanted something that I could slide my phone into either like here or in this part. Um, so this was $14.99. Like I said, you've got this part here where you can like slide in like your ID, several cards. You've got this little spot um, right there. And then the zipper pocket, which has, you take all this crap out. It's got like an inside zipper pouch and then you, it's got like a little divider in it. So I could put my phone or whatever in there. Um, if I didn't feel like carrying a purse and then it's got this little slide part here and this little thing. So it can be like a little wristlet. There are times I don't feel like carrying my purse around. So this will be perfect. And it's very soft. And like I said, it was inexpensive. Um, the color is Rainforest, which I love this green. It's so pretty. But yeah, that is the brand. Cool. And then if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I've uploaded to my stories some like moleskins that I saw at TJ Maxx. I found this pocket moleskin. It's a it's one of those 18 month ones, but I don't know. I've never seen this layout before. Maybe it's just me. Um, but this was 
$3.99, y'all. It is the hardcover version, so it's not soft cover. I thought this would be fun just to kind of keep in my purse, you know, and scribble in it because, but yeah, it's the hardcover. It's black, but it does have the monthlies. I hate these monthlies, y'all. They're so small, but it's, so the monthlies, and this is a 2025, yo, so even crazier. Um, I said 2025, yo. But yeah, so I'm going to flip through it real quick just so you can look at it. So it's got the 2024 yearly, and then it starts in July of 2024 as far as the monthlies go. And then you've got 2025 yearly, which is cool. And it gives you like the week numbers down the side. And then it goes into the 2025 monthlies, which I think is neat. And then, like at the end of all your monthlies here, then you have the 2026. Um, and then, you know, it's the typical, like, ideas and goals, travel planning. I don't even know. Extraordinary moments this year, blank space. Like, these are pretty typical in the moleskins. You get, like, this timetable. You get two of those. And then it goes on to the weekly. But, y'all, look at this weekly. Like, no, no to-do lists. Like, not all the weeks are stacked on one side. Like, this gives you plenty of space to, like, just write things just for that day, which I like. I really like this. So, this is actually usable even starting now. So, if I wanted to, like, write stuff in here and scribble in here, I could. Y'all, I like having multiple planners. I know I did, like, a whole lineup video and none of these were a part of it, but... <laughs> I like having multiple planners and I'll jump in and out and I'll duplicate stuff and I like it. So it doesn't bother me. And then it ends January 4th and then you get some notes pages in the back. Not many. Was that two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. And then you get the stickers. Oh, wait a minute. I have never seen this color quality sticker before. All the ones I've seen have been light blue or that like yellow color. I've never seen a green one. What does that mean? Does anybody know? I've never seen that one. So usually what I do with the quality stickers is I stick them on the very last page. So I don't lose them. Ah, maybe not because obviously I'm struggling. <gasps> okay. Sorry. That was dramatic. But yeah, I started doing this, like sticking it on the, oh my gosh, what is the matter? This is why I use tweezers y'all. Cause I have like the shakiest hands, but yeah. So I usually stick that there. I'll try to do a quick pen test. I'll like, yeah, I'll try to speed through that and see how it does. Cause you know, there's like this debate about fountain pen friendly, Versus non-fountain pen friendly. But I will tell y'all. The 2024 Daily Moleskins I bought are fountain pen friendly. Whereas, we'll find out about this. I'll I'll film that in a minute. Um, just sharing my goodies, y'all. And then, I found these dot markers. So, they had this, this kind. This was at Home Goods, by the way. Which is right next door to TJ Maxx. But they had this kind, and then they had metallic. And I was like, mm, I don't want to do metallic. I, at first, I didn't see these, but I'm glad I grabbed them. But these are what the colors, what they say the colors look like. I'm going to swatch them, and we're going to see if they're close. I really like this rose pink. I like the green, the chartreuse, the aquamarine. So, for 8 bucks, I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then, y'all, non-stationary related... I love this little gnome. I like gnomes and I like snowmen. Those are my favorite Christmas decorations. And he's got the legs that like hang so you can like sit them down. Um, and I have a moose that's kind of like this with the, that has like the heavy bottom. He's got like a beanbag bottom or something. But the heavy bottom um, where the legs dangle. So he's going to hang out on, I have a piano in my living room. So dude is going to hang out on my piano. Um, this was 10 bucks. Y'all, I love gnomes. They're so cute. And then I couldn't help myself with the coffee cup, y'all. I got a Hello Kitty Happy Holidays coffee cup. And it was $5.99. So, 
Yep, I did spend some money today, but that's just so cute. I love it. And I'll probably drink out of that cup all year long because I'm me. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the camera off and do all of my like pen tests and then I'll cut it back on. Okay. So I can show you what I came up with. Y'all, this is not the best quality moleskin. This is probably actually the worst quality moleskin. So yeah, definite bleed through. I see some feathering. If it'll zoom in. So I would say that this one, I don't know if this green sticker has anything to do with it, but I will say that this moleskin is 100% not fountain pen friendly. So much bleed through. And then definitely some feathering, especially with the, uh, yeah, look at those fountain pens, y'all. Feathering. So, this is definitely not fountain pen friendly, but I would say the Bic Gelosity did good. There's some definite ridging and ghosting, but no bleed through. Even the Tombow, y'all, had some bleed through, which I find interesting. So, definitely not the most fountain pen friendly. I'm going to do the dots here, too, and I'm just going to do them down here. I'm just going to do like a dot with like just probably like equal pressure and then I'll also swatch the dots in my weeks. Okay, so I did all the dots. Desk is a mess. So I just, those are the markers. Again, King Art is the brand. These are the color names. And I didn't write the names of the colors here. There is feathering with the dots and 100% bleed through. Like, look at that. I tried to use the same amount of pressure. Now let's look at how it did in the weeks. I did it down the line. That crimson is so pretty. Let's see if it did bleed. There was no bleed through on this Tomoe River paper. Yeah. So I think it's safe to say that I do not have a high quality. What was the theory that seaweed kisses had that if it had this something with forestry I don't know I can't remember I'll have to go back but she said something about the M with the with the eight dots but this is um yeah with the eight dots I'm trying to see where was it made it doesn't specify I don't guess where does it say typically where it's made I don't see it. But yeah, I've never seen this like green color quality control sticker, but every single one of these dot markers bled through and they feathered. So this is not high quality moleskin, but I think it's, I mean, I paid four bucks for this thing, so I'm not mad about it. Um, I think this will be a good little place to scribble notes and dates and things like that. So yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna keep this in the back. And maybe share with some folks on Instagram too. Just let me shove that back there. Um, but yeah, I honestly, y'all, I just I like to share the deals that um, I can find. So there's always stuff places. Uh, so I, you know, I just recommend not getting always caught up on brand or maybe like finding something that probably is not higher quality, but you can get it at a cheaper price. Cause I feel like these, I've never seen this layout before. I think that's what intrigued me. So, um, yeah, that's why I wanted it, but it's definitely like, you know, probably not going to use a lot of different pens in here. Maybe a point or, a, or, a, or a gel and hope for the best, but Okay, y'all, that was my, those were my finds. Um, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.